Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. The 2022 Mr. Olympia is underway, starting off with the 212 division. This is your top three. And don't worry, guys, we are going to take a look at the second call out as well. And I'm going to let you guys analyze these images while I give you a brief overview of what I saw. Sean Clarita looks absolutely incredible. When this guy came out, I was like, wow. I believe Sean is up seven or eight pounds from his last contest. The shoulders are bigger and the waist looks even smaller. I would say that Sean Clarita is definitely at his all-time best, and it's looking like he may get this second Olympia title tonight. Kamal L. Gardner looks pretty good. He is improved from last year, but structurally compared to Sean Clarita, I believe Sean has his number. And let's talk about Angel Calderon, who is also in this top three. I just said in a recent news video, do not be surprised if Angel Calderon is in that top three. Last year, he was fourth, so on paper, he should be up there. A lot of people were counting out Angel going into this show, man. And I got to admit, I did have him in sixth place, but I knew he had the possibility to be up here. I think he gives up a little bit too much ground in the back shots to Kamal Lilgardi. So to me, it's looking like Sean Clarita, Kamal Lilgardi, and Angel Calderon. But I still think it's possible that some guys from the second callout could move up if they are compared. But you guys let me know in the comment section below how do you see this top three going? Is it a possibility that Kamal L. Garden is able to capture an Olympia title tonight? Sean Clarita looks incredible. I read a comment somewhere. Someone said that Sean should just walk off stage and they should let him do the prejudging for the Open because he already has this show won. His name is on the trophy. And I want to give a huge shout out to Flex Magazine and NPC News for having these pictures available so fast. Now let's take a look at the second call out from left to right. Ahmad Eshkanani, Kareth Bajo, Keon Pearson, Ole Krivi, and Felipe. This guy's from Brazil. He's absolutely peeled. And I'm pretty sure these are the guys most of us expected to be up there outside of Felipe. But trust me, guys, this guy really brought it. Keon Pearson came in at his all-time best. The only critique I have for Keon, especially in the front relax shots, it seemed like he was getting a little bit gassed out. But Keon remained in the center for this entire callout, so they're probably seeing him in fourth place right now. But I would like to see him next to Angel Calderon again. I think it's possible that he moves up. But those top three guys just have a different level of conditioning. Felipe also has that. But as far as this second call out goes, outside of Keon Pearson, I believe all of these guys are very, very close. And take a look at Keon in this side shot. This guy looks like he belongs in the open class. Keon looks like he's 222, 30 pounds. And take a look at Kara's side leg. Looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at the back shots. Keon Pearson looks like he's leading the way. And take a look at the glutes and the hamstrings of Felipe. This guy definitely brought it. And I have to give my praise to the 212 guys. These are some of the most consistent and conditioned guys in the entire sport of bodybuilding. Now, Keon is in pretty good condition, but as I said, I believe he just needs more muscle maturity. He's a very young guy. He doesn't have that thin skin like Felipe or Andrew Calderon. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys see this second call out going? From the way they structured them, Looks like Keon is going to be in fourth. Ole Krivy is going to be in fifth. Ahmad in sixth. And Kareth and Felipe battle it out for seventh place. But the show isn't over yet, guys. When we come back tonight, they could pose these guys a lot harder. Some guys could fade. Some guys could move up. But that's how I see this show going right now. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And I almost forgot, Ping Young Long did not make it into this second call out. He looks pretty good, but he just doesn't have that same wow factor as he had at the Thailand Pro. We will be back very, very soon, guys. So much to talk about this weekend. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness, and that's it. I'm out.